We, um, I let my friend Game Leopard use, um, um, go to the lottery, and we got five jackpot. Like, we got, I had, like, five sevens, like, not five sevens, I mean, we got the jackpot four times, and I caught the rest of the Pokemon off screen, and went to Mount Ember and obtained the ruby. Now we are going to go talk to Celio, and he is going to get, and he's going to have the ruby, and we are going to now be able to use a link cable and um, transfer Pokemon. And so let's talk to him. Just watch. Oh, that that Nintendo Dragon Gamer hand did the ruby to Celio. There it is. That's the ruby. Thank you, Nintendo Dragon Gamer. You're simply amazing. Um, may I ask you one more giant favor of you? Uh, yes. While I was studying gemstones, I discovered something important. There is another gem that forms a pair with this ruby. It's called the Sevi Islands. I call them Seven Islands. It's practically the same thing. The other gemstone is supposed to be in the Sevi Islands. Nintendo Dragon Gamer, please, I need you to go find that other gem. May I have your fairy pass in the town map? Okay, so we now have the Rainbow map. But the before we ever go after that Sapphire, um. I am going to I am going to be catching Skarmory and I'm going to be catching I am going to be catching Skarmory and Larvitar. We are going to head to Seven Island. Yep, that's going to be our first time visiting Seven Island. There's not going to be much to do right for now because I'm not focused on the trainers. I'm focused on catching my second two important Pokemon on my team. So, we're going to take these Pokemon out. I actually am going to try and dodge the trainers as best I can because I'm not focused on trainers right now. I'm more focused on trying to get the Pokemon that I need. Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. I totally forgot to get the XP share and the item finder from the regular parts of Kanto. I am such an idiot. I'll get that off screen. I'll probably show you where you get it. Because when I come back, I'm gonna... There's... There's this place in Rock Tunnel where you could go to the Move Tutor, and this Move Tutor can teach one of your Pokemon Rock Slide, right? Well, I assume... Well, I assume by looking at the guidebooks on Skarmory lately, Skarmory can learn Rock Slide. Okay. I can't even dodge her. That sucks. Well, all I can tell you, viewers, she is a user of the Grass type. So, I might as well go up against her. Gwahaha! I'll flick you away, uh, effort effortlessly. Oh, don't count on it, girl. I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna... Eh, I'm gonna whoop your butt. But awesome. Okay, this is... one. This is, okay, this is our first encounter with a second generation Pokemon. Just use Flamethrower and Belossum will faint. Bye-bye. Another Bell Awesome. Okay, she only has two Bell Awesome. This battle's gonna go. Is this battle's gonna. This is. This battle is gonna be finished real quickly. So I am really excited to catch a Larvitar and a Skarmory. Because Skarmory are really good bird Pokemon. I mean, they're still fine. What do you expect? They're good against a lot of moves. I mean, their only weaknesses is only fire and electric, and that's it. Okay, thank goodness I missed him. Okay, time to put the repel back on, and then dodge Pokemon that I can't go in yet. Okay, I'm going to try and dodge him. Okay, thank God. 
So it's called the Sevolt Canyon. So go in the Sevolt Canyon. I am going to get rid of the Repel real quick. And I am now going to be catching Larvitar and Skarmory. Does not matter if if their genders are a boy or a girl. I am going to catch it. I'm going to catch them no matter what. So I'm just going to get rid of this Repel real quick. Okay, come on. It should be gone by now. Come on, come on. It should be gone by now. I've been going back and forth like a... Okay, thank you. Now I can do it. I mean, there might be Pokemon I don't want to catch. Okay, Cubone is one of them, because they're not going to be Pokemon I am going to catch. Skarmory are a little bit tricky. I'm going to actually be catching these Pokemon... I'm actually going to be catching these Pokemon while they are asleep with a Pokeball. So, who knows? I might be catching Skarmory right now. Or not. These Pokemon are not as common as the other ones that, that we are seeing right now, like Cubone, which are really high level, like level 46. Well, you'll usually find Skarmory level 30, and you'll find Larvitar level 15. Okay, for Rock Dimension, you actually can catch Fampy here too, but that's... They're not as good as Tyranitar, because Tyranitar are really good Pokemon, in which that's the final evolution of Larvitar. I'm just really excited now I get to catch these Pokemon. It's just the problem is they are hard to frickin' find. In which I don't like wasting minutes on the video, so I'm trying to put this on camera, so I don't have to do it off screen, so I can put it on screen. A Marowak is also a Pokemon you could find here, level 52. So, I might be taking a risk of having to not run away. Well, I guess I can run away. I guess maybe the Pokemon has to be, like, higher level. Okay, another Marowak. I honestly don't care right now. I really care about catching my, my next two Pokemon. Which are now going to be my final team of six Pokemon. And, I'll be doing lots of training off screen so I can get ready for the rematch. And yes, these Pokemon tend to get really annoying. I actually know a really good move set for Skarmory. I would teach Skarmory Rock Slide if it were ever possible to teach Skarmory Rock Slide. If I can't teach Skarmory Rock Slide, I'll teach Skarmory Rock Tomb. Okay, there are Persian, there are Persian here in the, the Civil Canyon. Um, what I was going to teach Skarmory was originally Rock Tomb. If not Rock Tomb, I'd teach it Rock Slide. Possibly Rock Slide or Rock Tomb, Aerial Ace, Fly, and Steel Wing, which are really good moves. So I'm pretty much saving up some TMs to teach to my Pokemon. Okay, here's Skarmory, viewers. Okay, so it's a male. Um, I am going to use Bite. Bite's probably recommended if you have an Arcanine that's at this level. Or use Extreme Speed. This Pokemon has lots of defense, so it's not going to faint instantly. See, it's going to take a few hits. And okay, so it learns Swift. Swift is a move that cannot miss. So, I'm really wanting to catch this Pokemon on screen. Okay, I'm going to use a, another Extreme Speed, and I'm going to put this Pokemon to sleep. I saved Aerial Ace for Skarmory only, because it's a really good move. And Aerial Ace cannot miss. Okay, now I'm going to send out, um... I'm now going to send out my Venusaur. Um, Venusaur will use Sleep Powder, and I will catch this Pokemon with a Pokeball. And honestly, viewers, right now I am seeing that Skarmory is using Swift very repeatedly. And it's actually really it's actually really repetitive, as you can very well see. But since now I'm putting the Pokemon to sleep, it shouldn't be a problem for me now. Okay, um bag. Pokeballs. Okay, it's pretty good. It's not so bad. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's close to red, but 
I mean, it's not so bad. Oh, come on. I'm probably going to do 20 minutes and then that's it for this video. You gotta be kidding me. I don't want to use a move to... Okay, so it learns agility and swift so far as I can see. Um, I'm going to keep throwing Pokeballs at it. Okay, it's, so it's going to break free. Um, I'm now going to throw another sleep powder at it. I'm not going to use leech seed. That'd be plain stupid. Yeah, 75 accuracy. What do you expect? I mean, I'm only going to do this once. I mean, I am not going to give up on this Pokemon. I'm not even going to try and faint this Pokemon. Skarmory are really good Pokemon. I, I mean... They are really good Pokemon. I am not going to waste this opportunity. And I'm going to stop talking so I don't jinx myself. Okay, so it learns Air Cutter. Darn it. There has to be another move on this Pokemon. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. I'm not gonna take the risk at using my Arcanine and feeding the Pokemon. I'd be plain stupid. Ugh. I should I should have bought great balls or something, but no. I'm just going to keep throwing Pokeballs. You got it! Ugh! I thought I was going to catch that Pokemon already. This is really bad now. This is really bad. No joke. This is very bad. In the next part, I'm actually going to be doing stuff. Like, I'm going to... Like, I'm actually going to be doing more parts of this game that are need to be filmed. This is me catching Skarmory and Larvitar. So, I mean, it's worth my while doing this, so... Yeah, this is ridiculous. Okay, I finally got the Pokemon. Thank goodness. I would spend a lot more time on this if I filmed. Trust me, I probably spent like another five minutes. Okay, no, I'm not going to name Skarmory. Okay, let's check Skarmory's stats real quick, and then we're going to move on to another Pokemon, which will be Larvitar. Okay, that was where it's moved. It's also used Fury Attack. Um, it has 94 defense, which I find really nice. Um, um, the next Pokemon I'm going to save before anything else, thank God. The next Pokemon we're going to catch is Larvitar. Now, Larvitar, I would highly recommend if you're looking for a good Rock Dark type. Okay. I am going to stop looking for Pokemon, and I'll show you Larvitar whenever I encounter one. It won't be like exactly like I guess you would probably call it live, Finally. but... Finally! I will show you when, okay. when I find one. Okay, I don't care if this Larvitar is a male or a female. I don't even care if it's female, as you can very well see. This Pokemon is female. Okay, first thing is first. Put this Pokemon to sleep. It's level 15. Do not run away from this Pokemon. This took me like five, five minutes just trying to look for this Pokemon, okay? I mean, this Pokemon, these Pokemon are really good Pokemon, but they're really hard to find. So send out Venusaur. Use a Sleep Powder on this Pokemon. Uh, sleep powder. I should catch this Pokemon, no problem.
I sh I should have I shouldn't have any problem. Okay. After nine more tries, if this Pokemon is not caught, I am gonna gonna I'm gonna have to skip until a Pokemon is just caught. Okay, well then, that was actually a pretty easy catch right there. Okay, Larvitar. It is born deep underground. It can't emerge until it has entirely consumed the soil around it. Maybe that's why it's so rare. Okay, that is pretty much it. I am done. But I'm probably going to spend another five minutes... Yeah, I got a lot of stuff done in this part. So this is my whole entire team now, viewers. But Larvitar needs to be trained. Let's check Larvitar's stats. OMG, it's special attack, defense, and attack are all at the same. Um. Okay. Um. Whoops. I'm going to teach my, um, Skarmory. I'm going to teach my Skarmory Fly and We'll get rid of Air Cutter There we go So next time on my Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red, yeah, this is going to be it. I am not going to do anything else. Um, this part was really just to catch, I guess, oh my god, I am so sorry. I have filled around with my tripod. I am going to make this video more convenient. I am I do apologize for what I just did. That was so weird. I am so sorry. What I am going to do, I'm probably going to do another 25 minute video so I don't waste your time. I'm going to do another 10 minutes. So I'm not going to stop this part. I am actually going to show you the items that you get in Kanto. So now we're going to head back to Vermilion. Yes, we're going to head back to Vermilion. I know it might seem stupid since we haven't finished up the game totally yet. Um, I might want to show you something. It's a neat trick I actually did that um and it's all thanks to light dark neutral. He is a person who does walkthroughs who does walkthroughs on his channel. Um I got to thank him because now I could get my Entei. Yes, we are going to catch Entei in this part too. Um it's a neat trick. Um if you go in and out of this area, I do believe so if you keep going in and out around here after one battle and you run away um you actually get your legendary dog which is the weakness to your pokemon so i guess i don't know exactly between charizard and blastoise but i do know if you have a venusaur your weakness will be entei so i'm actually getting my entei back thank goodness I mean, it should work. It's a cheat. It's supposed to be something that's supposed to happen, I know. You know why I said I was getting my Entei back? It's because, um, I traded my friend the Entei to, like, do that cheap thing in Emerald. My friend accidentally deleted it, and now I get my Entei back. But, unfortunately, you don't hear that... You don't hear like a higher pitched voice, uh, like a higher pitched tune to the wild battle music, so I'm hopefully going to get that. It should, it should come. 
it should. It means a cool. It was a. It was a neat trick that happened, and I want that to happen to me. I have the national decks now. This should not be a problem. This trick should work. I mean, he was able to find. I mean, dark. Light Dark Neutral found his Raikou. I should find my Entei. Unfortunately, I'm not getting good luck here. I'm not sure if it's because I didn't complete parts of the game yet or what, but um, if that's not going to work right now, then I will I will catch Entei later. Okay, I'm actually going to show you some items you can get after you get a certain amount of Pokemon. First, let's go to Lavender Town. We're not exactly going to fly there just because there's going to be an item there. No, that's not it. Um, if you go into one of those um, connectors that you go through and there's a police officer, I'm going here and go up these stairs. And no wrong one. It's one of these. Um, one of these you'll get 30. If you have 30, if you have 30. Pokemon, if you find 30 different kinds of Pokemon, you'll get the item finder. Okay, let's look over here. Okay, what does he give you? If you have 50, you'll get the XP share. Oh, yeah, 50 kinds of Pokemon. This is just what I need. I need the experience share. All right. Okay, let's look for another person that's like this. I mean, there's only a number of those checkpoints that you have to go through. So, we're going to go to this checkpoint over here. I guess is what they call checkpoints, but... We're going to go through them anyways. This checkpoint should have, up in this, up here should have an aid. Okay, no. I'm going to go now fly to Celadon City. I'm going to fly to Celadon. Okay, come on. Come on. There's one of them. Oh, 40 kinds, what do you get? Oh, an amulet coin. That's what you'll probably want also. An amulet coin doubles the, um... It pretty much just doubles the, um, it doubles how much money you get after a battle. So let's say, if you're going up against Lorelei right now, you'd be getting 5,400 Poke Dollars, right? Well, instead you'll get 10,800, which is actually, a, it's a really good bonus right there. Um, I don't know where else I'm, so, I don't know where else I should go. Oh! we we'll go fly to Vermilion City again. We're not going to go back yet. We're going to find one more item that we're going to get. Then we're going to go back and we're actually going to start on four islands. So, now we're, I'm just showing you viewer stuff that I didn't show you before. Since I was busy trying to catch Pokemon off screen and actually trying to catch Skarmory and Larvitar. Which are now going to be permanently on my team. This is one of the connectors. Go in here. He'll ask you for 30 kinds of Pokemon. There he is. Okay, talk to him. Hi, remember me? I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. If your Pokemon has complete data, if your Pokedex has complete data on 30 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. Yes, yeah, the item finder. The item finder is pretty neat. Oh, and one more thing. I I forgot to go to Treasure Beach, and I'll probably show you all those items. So, probably the first thing we'll do in our next part is next time on my Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. So, next time on my Let's Play 
Pokemon Fire Red, Leaf Green. We are going to go to one island and we are going to go to Treasure Beach. I'll, sh I'll see you in my next part, viewers. Goodbye.